So this next braiding technique is my favourite braiding technique. I did this with nearly all my braids, like four strands and five strands, I just love it. So this is called a Dutch braid, so it's basically like a French braid, only you braid the strands under each other rather than over each other. Here, and we're going to divide this into three even pieces. You want to take your right piece and bring it under to the middle. Then take your left piece and bring this under to the middle as well. Now we're going to add a section of hair to our right piece. And you're going to bring this under to the middle. Add a section of hair to your left piece. And bring this under to the middle. Again, add a section of hair to your right piece. Bring this under to the middle. And bring a section of hair to your left piece. And bring this under to the middle. Take a section of hair, add it to your right piece. Bring it under to the middle. And add a section of hair to your left piece. And bring this under to the middle. And you can probably see that the braid already is starting to pop out. It doesn't sit so flat on your head like a French braid. And it's definitely one of my favourite braiding techniques. So again, I'm just adding hair to the outer strand and I'm bringing it under to the middle. Adding hair to my outer strand. And I'm bringing this under to the middle. And now I've added in all my hair, so I'm just going to keep bringing the strands under the middle strand. Dutch braid. I know mine is a bit crooked. For some reason, my braids are always lopsided or to one side. And... Definitely my favourite braid, so I'm just going to turn it around and show you. I like to go back and just gently tug on my braid and to get a nice and fuller look. So you just, this is called pancaking. So I'm just going to loosen it up a bit. Kind of shake it out. And if you like, you can take your elastic out to make it a bit easier to pancake. Um, I'm just too lazy, I'm just going to leave mine in. But um, usually when I'm pancaking, I don't tie my hair off. I pancake first and then I tie my hair off. So I'm just going to pull on my braid here to get a nice and big. I'm just going to turn around for you guys. Okay guys, so we've two braids left. The next I'm going to do is a Dutch fishtail. Okay, so to do a Dutch fishtail is basically the same as a Dutch braid and a fishtail. So take a section of hair and we're going to divide it in half like a fishtail. This, again, you want to take a small section of hair like in a fishtail braid, but this time instead of bringing this strand over, we're going to bring it under to the opposite side. And now we're going to do this again, take a small section of hair from one side and bring it under to the opposite side and we get our X only it's underneath our braid this time. 
So again, take a small section of hair, add some hair to this, and bring it underneath your braid to the opposite side. Take a small section of hair, add some hair to this, and bring it under to the opposite side. Take a small section of hair, add some hair to this, and we're going to bring this underneath to the opposite side. Take a small section of hair, add some hair to this and bring it under and add it to the opposite side. If your hair is down here and your braid's still up here, you could you could still bring some of your strands underwards without adding in honey hair. That's what I do sometimes. Cause sometimes my I add in sections that are too big, so I'm just gonna braid down to meet my hair. Don't worry, the braid will still look the same. So I've met, I'm down to now where my hair is being added in. So again, I'm just going to continue adding my hair in. So I'm just going to take a small section, add some hair to my little strand and bring it under to the opposite side. Add some hair to my little strand and bring it under to the opposite side. And again, I'm just going to do some stitches without, in, without adding any hair in to keep up with the hair that I've left. So again, I'm just bringing the strands under to the opposite side. And now I've packed down the strands that I'm adding in hair. So again, I'm just going to add in a section of hair. Bring it under the opposite side.
and again I'm just going to turn around to make this braid a bit easier. So really there's no right or wrong way of doing the fishtail, I kind of just add in hair as I go, wherever it feels right. And I try to keep the braid and the hair at the same level when I'm adding them in. I have a Dutch fishtail and this one, like my last braid, is nice and crooked because I always do crooked braids or to one side. So this is a Dutch fishtail. And now I'm going to go ahead and make it nice and big. guys our last braiding technique is a lace braid and to do a lace braid you only want to add hair to one side so I'm so I'm just going to add hair today to this side to the back strand so I'm going to do a Dutch version so I'm going to bring my strands under the middle and now I'm just going to only add hair to this top strand and bring it under to the middle and I'm not going to add any hair to this bottom strand I'm just going to bring it under to the middle Again, add a section of hair to the top strand and bring this under to the middle. I'm not going to add any hair to my bottom strand, just bring it under. A section of hair to my top strand, bring it under to the middle. Not going to add any hair to the bottom strand, just bring it under. Add a section of hair to my top strand, bring this under to the middle. I'm not going to add any hair to the bottom strand. Add a section of hair to my top strand. Bring it under to the middle. I'm not going to add any hair to the bottom strand. Again, add a section of hair to my top strand. And I'm not going to add any hair to the bottom strand. And I'm just going to leave it at that and braid down because it's getting really dark and I don't think you're going to be able to see me anymore. So I'm, gonna, oh. I'm just going to braid down and I like my braids big so I'm just going to go back and just gently tug on this. Make it. So there we have a lace braid and a lace braid can look different depending on what kind of hairstyle you're doing. At the end I'm going to leave a collage with some video clips of hairstyles I've done with French fishtails and French braids and Dutch fishtails and lace braids so you can see all the different kind of styles you can do. So I hope you found this tutorial useful guys. I'd love to know which braid, which kind of braid is your favourite. Do you prefer tight braids or loose braids? And which braid do you prefer overall? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.